Air defense missiles come in many sizes, from short-range systems that can be carried by an infantryman, like the Javelin, through highly complex systems that can hit enemy aircraft 40 miles away, like the Hawk. The first manned portable air defense missile was the U.S. Army's Red Eye, developed in the late 1950s. It has been replaced by the new Stinger missile. The Stinger uses a sensitive infrared seeker that picks up the heat given off by modern attack aircraft. It has a maximum range over three kilometers. The effectiveness of the Stinger was clearly demonstrated during the war in Afghanistan. The noted defense analyst, David Isby, traveled with the Mujahideen resistance during the war and explains the Stinger's importance. Starting in 1986, these were supplied to the Afghan resistance and they have been used, it appears, most effectively. According to U.S. government sources, no late than 68% of those fired have resulted in shot down Soviet airplanes or helicopters. In the June 1987 Soviet offensive in Paktia province, which is one of the areas where there's been the most intense fighting in Afghanistan, the Soviets have had to reduce the use of helicopter gunships, which up until now have been their primary offensive weapon in Afghanistan. The Stinger can also provide fast, mobile air protection night as well as day. The United States Army uses a pedestal-mounted Stinger called the Avenger, The French Army's new Mistral missile is similar and also uses infrared guidance. The Mistral is a short-range infrared missile, about seven kilometers in range. In our view, it is the most advanced system in the world today. It has been in service since the end of 1988. It is used by six countries, and we estimate ten uses by 1990. Another missile used in Afghanistan was the British Army's Javelin. The Javelin uses a different guidance system from the Stinger or the Mistral. The missile crewman places a small cursor over the target using a finger control, and the missile is automatically steered against the target. The British Army is currently developing an even more sophisticated successor to the Javelin called the Star Streak. A third approach in man-portable missile guidance is found in the Swedish RBS-70 missile. The RBS-70 operator directs an invisible laser beam against the enemy aircraft, and the missile rides along the beam into the target. To protect maneuver forces against aircraft, air defense missiles are mounted on tracked vehicles. The Chaparral is a medium-range missile system used by the U.S. Army. The missile itself is derived from the famous Sidewinder dogfighting missile. It uses infrared homing like the smaller Stinger. The U.S. Army is now developing a successor the ADATS as part of its forward area air defense program. The ADATS uses new laser guidance technology. Modern attack helicopters are now employing infrared flares to confuse heat-seeking missiles. As is apparent here, they do not confuse a laser-guided missile. European armies have favored radar-guided missiles. The Crotal is used for airbase protection, and it has been widely exported. German and French armies use the radar-guided Roland missile system. A senior Roland program engineer describes the current effort. Roland system is actually in the fabrication of a series. 
The Roland is now in service with 10 countries, three of them in NATO. There are 540 launch systems and about 25,000 missiles in service today. It is an air defense system to protect against low and very low altitude aircraft. Originally, it was designed to escort mechanized formations, and its use has been extended to defend fixed sites such as command posts and airfields. It is being modernized both for the French and German armies. Air defense missiles for high altitude protection are the most sophisticated variety of anti-aircraft missiles. The most widely used missile of this type is the Hawk, first developed for the United States Army in the 1950s. It has been continually upgraded and the most advanced version is called the Hawk Phase 3. The Hawk system includes long-range surveillance radars to locate and identify enemy aircraft and illumination radars, which are used to guide the missile to its target. Although the Hawk is designed primarily to intercept aircraft, as early as 1960 it demonstrated its capacity to engage even tactical ballistic missiles. The Patriot system is the successor to the Hawk. Patriot is the most effective high-altitude tactical air defense missile system in the world today. As missiles become more sophisticated, electronics form a greater and greater portion of the whole system. Patriot is centered around a phased array radar. Unlike conventional radars, which rotate while searching, the phased array radar steers its beams electronically. The Patriot's phased array radar can track up to 100 targets and control up to five missiles simultaneously, a considerable improvement over the older radar guidance systems. The radar sends out a special electronic signal that illuminates the targeted aircraft. Then it tells the missile to open up its receiver and pick up the reflected energy. When the missile receives the reflected signals, it reports back to the main radar, telling it what energy it sees. The computer then sends course corrections to the missile via the radar to ensure a very precise interception. Although this track by a missile guidance method is extremely complex, it makes it nearly impossible for an enemy aircraft to jam the missile guidance system using electronic warfare equipment. Over the past two decades, the role of missiles in modern armed forces has continued to grow. Missiles are now an essential ingredient in a whole range of modern weapons, including combat aircraft, warships, and armored vehicles. High-tech missiles give today's soldiers the critical combat edge on the battlefield. <laughs>